Well, hello everyone. So I was gonna make a um, channel update video before making other videos, but I have something else I need to talk about. And yes, you get to see my wonderful shitty makeup because I've been have this makeup on for hours and it has been in the 90s, so it's been hot. So yes, my makeup has like smudged and smeared and all of that, but you know, I think with goth makeup, that just makes the makeup look better in a way. So anyway, so today I I went out to go do some Halloween shopping, otherwise known as home decor shopping. <laughs> and I actually got some, some groovy stuff at the 99 cent store, and I plan on doing an unbox of uh, a haul of that, not unboxing. So... I left the ninety the ninety nine cent store, and I was headed over to Target and Joanne Fabrics to take a look at their stuff. And I happened to cross a Spirit Halloween store. So for those of you who have been living under a rock or maybe live in a different country, the uh, Spirit Halloween stores are Halloween shops that show up, you know, around Halloween. They find these, you know, like empty storefronts of a sufficient size and they rent them out for like a couple of months and, you know, and they sell Halloween stuff, Halloween decor and and costumes and all of that. So I wanted to go look at their wares. And... They had some stuff that caught my that caught my eye. They've got like some witchy stuff, witchy occulty stuff with pentagrams on it. And I am a sucker for pentagrams. Which is why Killstar has a bunch of my money. In fact, this little pentagram necklace that I'm wearing is from Killstar. Um anyway. So I grabbed this altar cloth that's got a pentagram on it, and inside the pentagram it's got the uh, alchemical symbols for uh, brimstone. I also grabbed this purple and black pentagram pillow. And, you know, they had some other, some other stuff. They had like a pentagram wreath that, that was kind of cool looking, but I've already got a homemade wreath um, on, my, um, on my door. So I didn't grab that. But then I decided not to buy anything after I saw their Witch Doctor costumes and accessories. You know, with all of the Black Lives Matter stuff going on, it just seems a wee bit insensitive to sell costumes of a caricature of an African shaman. I mean, really, and it was like, I mean, it was the stereotypes. You know, you've got the necklace with the skulls on it, and they had some jewelry, which I didn't, I didn't look too closely at it, but it looked like it was like the nose bone. Ugh. Yeah, and they, and of course, they also had, you know, voodoo costumes, of course. I mean, to me, this is in a similar vein to, like, the Native American costumes. I mean, come on. But really, though, like, especially now with all of the racial stuff going on in this damn country, you'd think they could be a little bit more sensitive and not sell caric caricatures of Africans, you know? So, yeah, so I just put the stuff back. And I left the store. Something that I did not do, or at least I don't think I did, I'll have to check, but, but, um, is I didn't take pictures of the, of the, um, the, the witch doctor stuff. And I really wish I had, so I really wish I had, because then I could like post those and be like, see, look, look what I found. And I mean, the packages, you know, they said witch doctor on them, you know, and I don't actually know the origins of like the witch doctor 
um, stereotype, that caricature. I don't know exactly where that originated, but it's been around for a while. It's an old one. So yes, I would encourage all of you to not give your money to the Spirit Halloween stores. Just boycott them. Go somewhere else. There are other places to buy, you know, spooky stuff for Halloween or for general home decor. So, yeah. It's just, it's just fucking sad that these kinds of costumes still fucking exist. I mean... Ugh. Anyway, that... That is pretty much it. I can't think of... I can't think of... Uh, I can't think of much else to say. Oh, I will add uh, that I am using a green screen and due to my less than perfect lighting, that's why everything looks all staticky. But it actually, I think, looks kind of cool. So at least for the time being, I think this is what I'm going to do is just have some kind of a satanic more spooky background, you know, with me and the staticiness. And hopefully I will be making uploads more frequently. So yes, that is all. And if you like what I do, please subscribe and all of that. And all of my social media doodads will be in the video description if you want to follow me. And, you know, I will also put a link to my merch shop if you want to check out my satanic merch. And I will see you on the next one.